Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss some important concepts related to MATLAB graphical user interface, okay? So let me create one small application and along with that I will be discussing some important concepts. So I will write guide and create one blank GUI, okay? I will make this bigger and this one also, right? Now what I will do, I will take three axes okay so suppose i am i have started keeping from here right so this is my first axis i will copy this and paste so this is going to my axis to see by default it is changing its name also right so i will make this a little bit apart and this is my axis three all right and i will put three push button one push button basically I'll, I am going to use for browsing purpose another push button I am going to use suppose for adding noise in my image which I will be taking and another one is to remove noise okay some filtering we are going to apply this kind of image processing application we are going to make right and here you can see one more interesting part see edit text i have already discussed right static text is also there so what it will do it will not change its name so see here static text if i just go to property inspector suppose i am showing uh, writing here uh, median filter okay suppose one median filter application we want to check and font size let me make uh, instead of 8 make let me make 15 right so here we are getting median filter this push button let me make uh, browse okay browse the image for browsing purpose we are going to use this right close this okay this is small okay uh, here let me change the font size to 15 right all right then this one is basically used to add noise in it okay add noise okay push button to tag also change add noise right here instead of 8 give 15 font size i am giving you can give according to your choice okay the last push button okay what it will do it will remove noise okay remove noise right here we can write remove noise okay and here change the size to 15 close this and save this when you press ctrl s application okay let me write in small app save so as soon as i will save this one code will be generated by default okay we are worried about the execute on button pressed for browse for adding noise and for removing noise right now what we will do we will browse so how we can write the code suppose you don't remember you, you forgot the code for uh, ui get file no need to worry here you just need to write help ui get file hit enter you will be getting this particular code Control c Control v okay no need to think about anything else here I will paste this. Now here instead of dot m, that means only m file will be extracted, but I want image. So here I will put star. Okay. I hope you know regular expression. Now this display part is actually not required for us. What we can do? We have to file name we can write like this strcat. So we need the file name. So file name is nothing but path name, string concatenation of path name and file name right then that one we are going to read i am read file name okay up to this all good now we are going to show this for the first axis in the first axis so axis handles dot axis one okay i am show a now we are going to add noise in this particular browsed image and we are going to show in axis 2 but that code is here 
Now we need to transfer this particular image which we are browsing, uh, uh, which you, you, you are taking to this particular function. How we can do that? So to do that, we need to basically transfer the data from one callback to other callback and how you can do. See, here one structure is created, this one, function app opening fcn, okay? Here, handles dot output equal to h object geo data uh, and inside bracket h object handles. What it will do, it is acting like one global structure. In this structure, you can store the required data which you want to transfer from one side to other, okay? So here, this one is for storing, this one is for our GUI data updating. This GUI data we can access anywhere. So better to use this. So what I will do, I will simply copy those three lines and paste here, okay? And make this, right? So what I can do instead of output, I am giving my own name which I can uh, remember later, handles.a equal to a I am writing. Why? Because this one is structured, right? So this is the syntax dot operation. Okay, at the property a I am storing the image. Okay, and then updating the GUI data, right? I hope up to this it is clear. All good. Now add noise. What we need to do, we need to add some noise. Now here we need to extract that particular image. So suppose I am accepting J equal to handles dot A. No need to think about anything much. This A we have stored here in the, the, the original image we have stored here in the A part of our structure. We are extracting that. Okay. Then I am noise. We want to suppose apply our median filter. So what type of noise, uh, for which type of noise we use median filter? Obviously salt and paper noise. Forgot this syntax. No problem. Help. I am noise. Just write, hit enter, you will be getting this one. Okay. Just copy this and paste it here. Okay. So I am noise. This will be J. J we are passing, we are adding salt and paper noise. Let me just increase the value. Maybe 0 0.4 I, I can take. Okay. Then axis handles dot axis 2. In the second axis, we are going to show I am show J. Okay, we are showing that. Then again, this is our noisy signal, which we want to filter in the next stage when this particular remove noise uh, button will be pushed. So again, we are going to do these two lines. Okay, for transferring data from one callback to other callback. Here we will paste this. And here, maybe we can write J handle dot j equal to j you can give any name okay handles dot k equal to j also you can give i am just giving so that i can remember this okay nothing to confuse now in this particular remove noise part what we can do we can get back that so handles dot j okay because in the j our noisy data is stored okay cool now okay let me just clear this now what we can do, we need to apply filter, okay, P equal to mid filter 3, okay, I hope you remembered median filter 3 for, because as the image which I am going to extract, uh, that is a color image, if you want for grayscale, then you can simply apply mid filter 2, okay, then J, then define the size, suppose I am, I want to apply 5 cross 5 cross 3, 3 obviously 3 channel, right, and then again axis handle, I will just copy this, I am saving the time otherwise I could type so handles dot axis 3 this is in third axis we want to show uh, I am show P that's all this is the simple implementation of one simple image processing project save this run this check whether it is giving error or not so this is our basically graphical user interface see median filter this static text it will not at all change this is kind of acting like title of our project cool browse we are going to browse, suppose we are taking this beautiful apple image, okay? And it is showing here without any error, so perfectly working. Now, let's click on add noise. So when we click on this push button, this data, which is basically we have taken from browse, from this, the data should go to add noise. Click, see, perfectly noise is added and you can understand very much noisy this uh, data is because the reason is nothing but we have taken high amount of salt and paper noise 0.4 then 
click on remove noise see this is our noise removed output which is uh, quite a, you can easily understand that it is the filter is working in a very good way it is able to remove a huge amount of noise right so this is what is simple image processing application and uh, what we have learned actually today number one is very important part how static text work then very important part how to transfer the data from one callback to other callback okay you no need to remember anything just under, try to understand these two lines handle sort output equal to each object gui data gui data can be accessed everywhere and handles is our structure so in the structure part we will be putting that data which we want to transfer to some other uh, other callback okay so here uh, suppose i no need to write handles dot a equal to a i am writing handles dot o equal to a so if you write o then here also here you need to take handles dot o that's what i wanted to show you right so like if i just run once more okay let me just close this and run once more so see go to browse okay i am taking another beautiful image of nature this one i am taking add noise see noise is added remove noise See, this is noise removed image okay so the uh, the information which you are storing in one uh, which you are getting in one callback if you want to pass to other callback just you need to add these two extra piece of line right so this is all for my this video one simple image processing application using gui basically uh, many times may help you to increase the weightage of your project Maybe that is related to digital image processing, that may be related to computer fiction, that may be related to deep learning, machine learning or others. Okay, so this is all same code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can check there. Thank you for watching.